Hello everyone, LCM Reviews is here and uh, well today I'm going to show you a new set from AliExpress. Uh, it's a uh, cargo truck, a US cargo truck GMC CCKW2 uh, and a half ton. Uh, here it is. So uh, this is a supply truck. Uh, actually, I didn't have um, a U.S. Uh, truck in my collection. Uh, I had only for uh, Vietnam War, and now this is the first car for uh, U.S. soldiers for World War II. And let me show you uh, first of all minor uh, things of this set. This set goes along with three bushes. Here they are, uh, and uh, two minifigures. Pretty ugly, actually. Here they are and uh, some kind of uh, anti-tank uh, tank, uh, uh, protection uh, just well i don't know it's the most ugly thing of this set okay so first of all minifigures minifigures are rather poor i don't like the design uh, they are made in uh, some kind of uh, olive uh, color i suppose they wanted to make a u.s soldiers for the late period of world war ii but uh, to be honest they didn't succeed for sure those minifigures they are not history authentic uh, well just soldiers I'm not sure that US soldiers ever had uh, this uh, red metal with white cross. Never seen it before, but still never mind. So, uh, no printings on uh, sides of the torso or legs, and uh, you've seen the uh, front. Let's check the back of these minifigures. Yeah, as I've said, in my opinion, uh, the design is really poor. Uh, I don't like minifigures at all, so. Just forget about it. And uh, the helmet is in incredibly ugly. For sure not US M1 helmet. And let's take away those bushes and this strange thing. So the, the only good thing in this set is uh, the uh, cargo truck itself. I like the design, but I need to say that I got this set from AliExpress. I got it for uh, $20 uh, with the free shipment. But uh, when I posted this picture at Instagram, I got a message from uh, the company Build Army, and they told me that the Chinese guys they just stole the design from them. And I checked the Build Army page, and uh, yes, uh, I found the same cargo truck uh, at uh, uh, Build Army page. So I need to admit that uh, Chinese guys, they just stole the design. And uh, if you don't want to pay uh, to uh, like, uh, uh, how do you call it, fraud, for, for fraud, then uh, it's better to get this truck from Build Army directly. In case you don't have money and uh, uh, you want to uh, save uh, 10, 20 dollars, then of course I understand if you buy from AliExpress, I will put the link in the description box. But actually Build Army also, they sell it pretty cheap. Of course, Build Army, they have uh, idea that they make sets also from uh, with uh, uh, Chinese bricks, not Lego bricks, Chinese bricks uh, or whatever uh, other bricks, not, not Lego bricks. And uh, uh, that's why uh, their prices, uh, they are rather low. So so Build Army, they sell this truck like for like $40 maybe. So $20 uh, at AliExpress and maybe $40 from Build Army. Um, they, they're situated in Britain, but well, maybe plus shipping. But still, so uh, if you don't want to pay uh, to a fraud, guys, then of course it's better to get uh, from uh, Build Army. And let's check what do we have here. This CCKW from China, uh, almost the same, but with uh, some minor, minor uh, changes. Uh, in general, it looks like uh, a real one. Uh, uh, I like uh, the design, but okay, uh, as I've already mentioned, thanks to Build Army about it. Uh, the doors, they, are, they can be opened, but you can't open wide because you have a rear mirror here. And uh, the chair, uh, it doesn't have studs, so you can't put minifigure over there. And you can't put minifigure uh, just in, uh, on the driver's seat because uh, there is a wheel. I don't know if you see it or not. Uh, there is a wheel over there and uh, just not enough space for a minifigure. But you can put minifigure on the passenger seat. And the problem is that without studs, the minifigure just fall down uh, somewhere inside of this car. So. Uh, in general, I would say that there is no function to put minifigure inside. Maybe only if you use uh, clay or glue, then you can do it. Otherwise, it's just uh, impossible. So we close the door. I love this uh, half open style. See, just half open. Uh, then we have a lot of stickers. N not a lot of, but we have stickers. Uh, number, then uh, white star, 
Now the white star, it's all stickers. The second door also can be opened, but as I've already mentioned, you don't have any reasons uh, to open it. You just can't put minifigure inside. The wheels are rotating, everything is nice. You have a gas tank. Uh, this uh, CCKW uh, was produced uh, from like 41 till 1945. Uh, they were made like uh, five or even six hundred thousand of them. It's a very popular car, and it was made in a long base and short base. I'm not sure about this one. I suppose it's a long base. I would call it a long base, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, you may open the t this uh, truck from the rear, and uh, your soldiers or your cargo can be put in, uh, and uh, well, close it and drive to the front line you have some stop lights and uh, if you need it I don't know why but you can take off this uh, tr truck part no idea so you have just the base uh, in general uh, the set is uh, nice uh, I like uh, how it was uh, built because it's uh, rather reliable um, nothing falls down from it uh, even kids I suppose uh, may play with it, but the only problem is that you can't put minifigure inside of the cabin. Uh, the rest of the set is real, really, really good, so thanks to guys from Build Army once again. So guys, it was a short review on uh, cargo truck, US Army, World War II, CCKW, uh, two and a half tons uh, from AliExpress, uh, but, uh, well, I think in the description box uh, I will uh, put two links, first one to the Aliexpress uh, where I got my set and the second one to the Build Army if you want to buy from a, a, real de a real designer who made this set and pay a little bit uh, uh, more then well I suppose you should get it from Build Army. And I think that's it for today, hope you like the video and uh, well see you later, goodbye, see you.